Please welcome Dr. Tara Pekala. Thank you very much, Greg. So this demonstration today is hopefully going to show you a little bit about how chemistry is involved in converting the, the food that we eat into energy that fuels our body. So while I get this set up, I just want you to have a think about how that works. If you think about the reactions that are going on inside our bodies, we're taking fuel. Um, you might know that a lot of this is carbohydrates, things like sugars and converting them, taking the chemical bonds and converting that to energy. So the way that that's done in the body is by using oxygen. But what we have here is a chemical reagent known as a strong oxidizer that can do the same reaction. So hopefully I can show you how much energy is contained in the foods that we eat. So what we're doing now is melting the potassium chlorate, which is our oxidizing reagent. And as that happens, it's producing oxygen to fuel the reaction, just as it would in our body. So we're nearly ready. I can ask you to choose a colour for the gummy bear to be sacrificed in the name of chemistry. What's your favourite colour gummy bear? Green. Everyone says red, I've eaten the red one. Green? Or, uh, green, it's too green. Alright, I think we're ready. So once again, you can see this is an exothermic reaction that produces a lot of energy, and it's the same kind of energy that's released in the process inside our bodies. And the, the byproduct of this reaction is carbon dioxide and water, which is exactly the reason why we breathe out carbon dioxide. So this time, we'll do the same reaction. If I can get it out. Oh, there we go. This time we'll do the same reaction except starting from um, sodium. So I'll use another green gummy bear to show you it's not the colour of the gummy bear. We'll melt our reagent just the same. This one should be a little bit quicker. Melts slightly lower temperature. Alright, goodbye gummy bear. And so now you can see the same exothermic reaction producing a lot of um, carbon dioxide and water vapours but this time yellow coming from the sodium. So I hope um, you enjoyed the, the demonstration. I'll leave you with a nice smell of caramel and the thought that one pack of gummy bears contains so much energy you'll be walking for a very long time to burn these off. So keep this demonstration in mind next time sitting on the couch eating a pack of gummy bears. <laughs> Thank you.